everybody, welcome back to the Fur and Fam YouTube channel, where our goal is to give you the skills and the confidence you need to build your home on wheels. This week's episode is the third installment of our electrical safety series. If you want to know what the electrical safety series is about, then check out our first video. We'll put the link below and you can see what three common electrical mistakes are that we see people make in their vans and a quick rundown of how to avoid them. If you want a more deep dive on it, then you're in the right place because today we're going to talk about fuses and how they protect your van. And what better time to do that than Christmas time? We've got a Christmas tree set up, our stockings are hung, they're not above the fireplace because we don't have a fireplace in our van. But still, you get the idea. The last thing anybody wants at Christmas time is for their Christmas tree to catch on fire and burn their entire van down. Now, fuses might not protect you from having that happen. Uh, we don't have a real Christmas tree. It's a, it's a fake Christmas tree, obviously. But it's still definitely something to keep in mind and consider when you're decorating your van for the holidays. So let's get into the thick of it here, talking about fuses. So basically, a fuse is a device that protects an electrical circuit in the most simplest sense. It, what it's going to do is basically open up an electrical circuit and stop the flow of electricity in the event that something goes wrong. Uh, many different things could go wrong. You could have a short to ground, you could have a, a device pull too much current and overload your system. There's a lot of different reasons that you really want to have circuit breakers and fuses and other uh, safety devices in your van to keep your electrical system safe. The first question in your head is probably, okay, so what's the difference between a fuse and a circuit breaker? A fuse is something that is basically a mechanical bridge that electricity flows through. And when the fuse is overloaded, that bridge effectively blows itself up and the electricity can't get from one side to the other. Now on the other hand, a circuit breaker is designed to be resettable. The ones that we use in our van actually are thermal circuit breakers. So what they do is when too much heat is generated through the circuit breaker, it opens up the circuit and the bridge collapses and doesn't let any electricity through from one side to the other. We prefer the circuit breaker method for the higher amperage uh, stuff because they're the ones that we used are resettable. Now for the DC distribution, we did use a Blue Sea Systems fuse block that has a bunch of slots for ATC fuses that allow us to hook up multiple different things from our distribution panel and power a lot of the things in the van like our refrigerator, water pump, lights, basically everything on our DC side goes through that fuse box. So we've covered the ATC fuses which are for the smaller current loads in your electrical system. Now on our main fuse that comes straight out of our Tesla battery module, we started out with a 250 amp ANL fuse. And this works very similar to the way an ATC fuse works. It's just a much bigger version of it. Um, and we actually are switching over to use a class T fuse, which is used in the marine environment. And one of the reasons that we're switching over is the fact that an ANL fuse, when it does protect the circuit and the bridge implodes basically, you can run into a scenario where it will actually weld itself together and not stop the flow of electricity. So, I mean, this, this might be an unlikely situation, but it's still a kind of a thought in the back of our head like, yeah, if something really bad happened, it could happen. So, that being said, we're going to switch over to the uh, Class T fuse. And another advantage to the Class T fuse is that it is ignition protected. So if there was a leak in our propane system somewhere or something in the van uh, was leaking that was could ignite or their fuel spilled or something, if a class T fuse trips, it's not going to create a spark that can cause something flammable to ignite. And that's another thing to keep in mind too. All of our resettable circuit breakers are marine grade, therefore they are ignition protected as well. All right, so we've covered the basics on circuit breakers versus fuses and the different types of fuses and how they work to protect your electrical system. So the next thing to think about is how do you pick which one you need? How do you know what size you want in your van on each circuit? And that's, that's pretty simple. Usually the device that you're hooking up will tell you. Like in the case of our Victron inverter charger, it says that at most you can have a 300 amp fuse. And so our 225 amp class T fuse is protecting our battery it's enough to protect our Victron inverter charger as well. 
So when you're looking at your components, you can look up the specs on them, and a lot of times they'll tell you what size fuse to use or circuit breaker to protect your system. And that's an important thing to pay attention to, because if you use the wrong size fuse, you could end up either one, destroying the component that's hooked up to your electrical system, which in our case, I would hate to do because it'd be a lot of money down the drain and I just really don't want to spend a bunch of money that I don't have to. And the other thing is it could create an unsafe situation in your van. And the last thing you want to do is be asleep at night and then smell smoke and realize, uh oh, there's something wrong in the van. And then you run out and your whole van's on fire. That's, that's really what you don't want to do in the middle of the night uh, when you're sleeping in your van. So first thing, they keep the device safe that's hooked up to the circuit. The next thing they do is they also protect the wire that you use in your circuit. So back to the, the last episode where we talked about wire type and size and how to size a wire and the amount of current that can go through a wire, that logic right there needs to be carried over and used to size the fuse as well. So if your device is rated for 300 amps, but you're only using wire that can carry 100 amps, you guessed it your fuse needs to be set to protect that wire that can only carry 100 amps because the weakest component will fail first. And what you want is the fuse or the circuit breaker to be your weakest component in the um, path that the electricity is flowing. And that will keep your van safe and prevent electrical failures and fires. So if you missed the video on sizing your wires correctly and picking the right type of wires, make sure you check that one out and you'll be one step closer to making your van as safe as it can possibly be.